I'm nervous all of a sudden. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today's video is extra exciting because I'm here with Steven Dimmitt. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I'm Steven. It made me think of like a, like we're doing like a self-help workshop. Hi. Welcome. Hi. I'm Steven Dimmitt. I'm the host of the Nugget Climbing Podcast. I've been climbing for 15 years and I interview professional climbers for a living. You interviewed Alex Honnold. Yeah, I did. Mm -hmm. The movie Free Solo, it won an Oscar. He's very famous. Yes. It was very fun to talk to him. That's the level we're talking about here. As much as it might appear online, I'm actually not a pro climber. Steven is an expert climber. He's gonna take me through a day of training like an elite climber. Coach me. If you need it. <laughs> I think I need it. <laughs> Learn some like finger training exercises. Mm -hmm. Gotta get that finger strength. We're gonna test her finger strength and see oh, no. how we compare. You know. It's as... good to know where you're at before you. Know where you're at. It's good to know where you're at. I should really have strong fingers, let's be honest. It Welcome transfers. To, the, to the channel, straight man. <laughs> I'm straight, but climbing is gay. We've established this climbing is gay on, the on the podcast. You heard it, well, they heard it here for the 30th time, but you heard it here out of a straight man's mouth. Let's start with the warm-up. How do you normally warm up? You well, <laughs> well, Stephen. Today we're going to warm up for Elena's first time. No. <laughs> So first off, we're gonna do five boulders that are very easy for you, mm -hmm. whatever that means. What's the hardest thing you've climbed inside? A V6. Okay, that's great. So our warm up will take One us time. up through, <laughs> for you, probably V4. What's yeah. the hardest you've ever climbed? V11. Inside. <laughs> inside? I climb harder outside than inside. So inside, really? yeah. Interesting. Inside V9, I think, is the hardest I've ever climbed. Maybe V10. Do so. you think you can get me on a V11 today? We can get you on one. Really? If there's one in here, yeah. I'll just power spot you. Okay. That's our goal. Okay, great. That's our goal. <laughs> I was like, what are you talking about, Elena? So the first technique we're going to work on is called sticky hands, sticky feet. So no adjusting on the holes. Yep, I've done this. You've done this. I've okay. done this. Place your foot on a foothold. Mm -hmm. That's where you have Cannot to Cannot move it. Can't move. Okay. Grab a hold, that's where you have to use it. Yeah, because a lot of people, they reach for something and then like bounce adjust, adjust, the hand adjust. around. Sticky hands, sticky feet. Sticky hands, sticky feet. So All you're right. you're saving energy, but you're also practicing intention. Another thing we should work on is taking a second to make sure we map out the climb. Root reading. It's very easy root reading. Oh, now I'm nervous. Steven, don't watch. Nobody look. <laughs> Don't look at me. You got this? It's all chill, Lena. No one cares about any of this. I feel nervous too. That makes you feel bad. It does, actually. I mean, oh, I'm the expert. You said that as if it's in quotations, but you literally are an expert. It makes it a lot smoother when you do the whole sticky hands, sticky feet thing. When it gets harder and it comes to like dead pointing a hold. Okay, I actually don't know what that means, dead pointing. Dead pointing, okay. So using momentum, mm -hmm. let's say this is like a small crimp. Okay. And I have to hit it with my index finger. Sorry, can we just get, <laughs> what's happening here? Is that a joke? <laughs> Hashtag goals. <laughs> you want to compare it? <laughs> no, but I'm not pumped yet. <laughs> wait, wait till I'm pumped. Okay, so dead pointing. It's hard to demonstrate on jugs. Basically, it's using momentum where you can't go statically. Mm -hmm. You have to use momentum because it's a difficult move. Mm -hmm. And the hold is bad enough, you have to time oh. the momentum so that your body's at a dead stop when you latch it. Yep. Okay, thank you. Because I've heard that a lot. Right? Never know what hands. it meant. Okay, sticky hands, sticky feet. I also noticed that you were like silent. Don't they call that something? Ninja feet or something? It's a great name for it. Oh, you know what mistake I made? I didn't tr read the route here, so I don't know if there's something on the other side. There isn't. Good awareness. Nice. Very smooth. Thank you. So apparently for our third easy one, we're jumping to an overhang two hex. Thanks, Steven. I tried to stop you. did you. try to amend, but it's too late. The damage is done. <laughs> All right. You, su you suggested it, the damage is done. Whoa. Does that count as Adjusting my feet. <laughs> nice job. Nice. How'd that feel? I don't know. It's an overhang, Stephen. <laughs> what do you want me to say? It was hard, okay? <laughs> Maybe that's better in the second cluster of three. Yeah. But that okay. was great. You look okay. smooth. Okay, I see what you mean. That was an oh, adjustment, I made an Stephen. adjustment, you're right. <laughs> the new drill is quiet feet. Just silence. Try to be as smooth silent. and silent with your feet as possible. Silent on medium boulders. Three V2s. Okay, three V2s. Silent. Let's I'm do it. I'm looking for three V4s. Okay. 
V4s. I'm looking for three V4s. <laughs> They'll be able to hear my feet Squeaking. if I make even a sound. <laughs> nice job. I couldn't hear a peep. I think the way for you to progress is to introduce pace. Like quicker? It's easier to be dead quiet if you're going really slow, which is not a bad thing. No, it's but great. it's like you're, you're immediately picking up on one of my weaknesses. Not good at dynamic movement. Have really been trying to work on it though. Let's try for silence. Mm. Ooh, silence. Yeah, it's a tricky move. <laughs> That's that. hard to get your foot up there. You have to use a little momentum. That's Not good. quite silent. Very good. Nice job. I've lost the silence. Very good. That's great. Even just going from easy to medium, yeah. it's way harder to nail the drills, right? Totally. So that's why doing them on the easiest climbs is really valuable. Because like, you build the habit. Mm -hmm. Now what are we going to do? Because you mentioned one thing you struggle with is moving dynamically and quickly. Yes. We're going to work on that. So we great. don't want to work on that at your maximum difficulty. Yeah. This is a great way to finish our warm up. We're going to try to find a climb where you have to dead point or yeah. be kind of snappy yeah. between the holds that's in like the <gasps> okay. V4 range. We'll see if we can find one. Okay, it looks hard. Oh, that purple one? No. That one. Oh, that one you just did during your medium section of the warm up? Yeah, that looks hard. <laughs> that might be at the peak of my. Oh, let's try it. That looks good. Immediately or? Let's try it. So we right. don't want to work on that at your maximum difficulty. Things I'm not good at. Dynamic movement uh -huh. because I'm scared. I also have trouble committing. In climbing. <laughs> Just generally. In relationships, <laughs> in general. And I particularly struggle with going around corners okay. for some reason. Well, let's, uh, let's figure out why. some sort of mental block there. So let's try it. There is no feet. Do you want to talk through what you think the sequence is? Thinking that I go from here, here, bump up. I think so too. I think and then coming a left in there hand. allows you to use that for your mm -hmm. foot. Then a left hand, right hand, left hand but I don't know that I'll be able to reach all the way there. But we'll see. Okay. Oh! This is perfect. <laughs> is it? Yeah, I wanna know why. You could have done the move, I think, yeah. if you had done. timed it a yeah. little bit better. As you reached up, you sagged down, yep. and you didn't have to reach anymore. Yeah. So I think if you time that a little bit better, just pull in, time More it, try a... to like pull this whole dude's chest as you reach up. More of like a single motion. Yeah. Rather than pull up, reach. Yep. Okay, single motion. Boom. Ah. She did it. Oh, but then. Amazing. Can you get your left foot up? I don't think I can hold myself just on the one hand there. Get your thumb around the corner on that. I yeah. I think that will feel a lot better. Ah, I see what you're saying. <laughs> that is kind of a weird position. I might yeah. be wrong about the movement. Oh, so you immediately got your thumb around there. That is really strange. But yeah, your intuition with the hip was correct. Thank you. I'm gonna try to get my fing my fingers in there so I can get my thumb up. That's the idea. Good. Oh, see, I don't have the. I feel like, like it's the right the right hand is the failure point there. Yeah. Would you like a power spot? Is that cheating? can like assist you into that position and you can just feel. And yep. then you're gonna... Yep, is that, you're okay with that? Yeah, okay. thank you for checking. Okay, oh thank you, oh yeah, okay. So then we're like this, and then what right did you do? Right pops up, Stemmy. Hmm, no, see I, one hand, I wouldn't be able to hold myself like this. Okay. Okay, yeah, so that would be the part that I probably um, wouldn't be able to do unassisted. Oh. See, and that was just commitment. I got my hand around it and then chickened out of actually holding mm. on. The third drill I was gonna do for the warm up yeah. is just. Sorry, we're still in the warm up. <laughs> Did I just hear you right? <laughs> for the warm up. So the final two boulders. <laughs> yeah. That's where we are now, and you're just gonna focus on audible breathing while you climb. Oh, audible breathing. <sighs> so we're doing something kind of hard again. Three hex, maybe? Three hex that you think looks good. Which is V2 to V4 for everybody who's asking in the comments. I feel like this blue, maybe. Okay, audible breathing. Something about that feels embarrassing. It's a little uncomfortable. You're, you don't look embarrassing to anyone else. 
that I understand exactly what you mean. Once you get used to it, you stop thinking about what anyone else thinks. Just breathe. That That's can be really helpful. good advice generally. This is making me lightheaded. Make sure you're breathing it out. <laughs> That's the opposite of what's supposed to happen, <laughs> yeah. right? <laughs> am I breathing heavily or am I hyperventilating? <laughs> Nice job. Mm, I've got myself really turned around here. Good. Deep breath. Oh, I don't trust that foot at all. I'm too scared, Steven. Deep breath. No, but I'm too scared to stand up on that toe. Mm. Real feet. How would you rate your breathing oh. <laughs> on a scale of zero to 10? Two, because that's how many <laughs> seconds I did it for. <laughs> It can really help in moments like that. It pulls you out of the lizard brain fear response thing and puts you back in your body. Right. Yeah, because yeah, I got I'm I was too scared of that toe. Do you think you're blowing up shoes? Is Honestly, part like of it? it's it it was right, you know, it's exactly on the gaping hole yeah. part. There you go, wiki feet. How do you like climbing shoes? Give the viewer a little look at what I'm what I'm trying to stand on there, you know? If we um, put my hand next to it, it'll look really small. Yeah, show show it. There it is for scale. I can do this. You can do it. I have to put all my weight into that foot, let that foot go in order to grab it, and if I slip, my face is going straight into that volume. But we're gonna try the deep breathing. Do you want me to breathe with you? Would that make you feel less self-conscious or would that make you feel more self-conscious? More self-conscious. Okay, I won't, I will not do <laughs> that. Because everyone then. would be like, why is that why man breathing so that? hard? <laughs> Just standing there. <laughs> wow, when you put it that way. I don't want to do it either. Straight man watches woman climb. Breathe hard. Straight man watches lesbian climb. Breathe hard. <laughs> okay. Deep breath. Good. Nice breath. Spicy. Nice job. Ooh. Oh my god. <laughs> nice job. <laughs> <laughs> that was really scary. Oh my god. <laughs> Good job. Hey. Hell yeah. Oh my god. I will say, I think the breathing helped. Yeah. Like when I was in that position, I put my toe on it, and I was like, just instead of thinking, oh my god, I'm so scared, thinking. Or saying. Oh my god, I'm so scared. <laughs> was I, did I say that? Was I saying, <laughs> me? Scared? No. You didn't say anything this time. <laughs> right, just like, it was like, okay, I got this. Mm -hmm. awesome. Right on. Good job. Right on. Okay, I feel good about that. Now I want to see something that would be considered challenging for you. Okay. And I want to see you try it. Okay. And then I'm going to try it. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. I'll obviously try it after you because like I wouldn't want to embarrass you. <laughs> At your own so game. thoughtful, Elena. So considerate. <laughs> Five. I don't know what that is. Yeah, that's hard. Six to eight. We'll see. It does look cool. It called it's, to me. I don't know why. I'm just like this is all of my weaknesses. It's overhang. It's dynamic. It's going around corners. So all right, let's see it. A little bit thuggier, potentially. And then, oh boy, is that supposed to be a foothold? Do you think? Yeah, I think so. In my so professional close. opinion, yes, I think that's a foothold. Okay, the other thing, I can't really see the hold, so now I just, it's really important blind. to look for reference points. There's like a little black thing and some chalk, so I can kind of see where I'm going. Nice. Hell yeah, nice. Oh, you got it. Yes. Mm. Oh, wow, that was spicy. Like <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Oh yeah, just flash the five pecs, that's fine. That was kind of spicy, that foothold is really bad. It looks bad, like objectively, but like comparatively to a five hex, it looks better than I would have thought. So it's not as good. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about either. Let's see if I can the first move is actually a good uh, dead point move practice for you. Come on. That's pretty good. I think you could swoop a little more. Okay. See, I'm, I'm like, <laughs> I don't know how to use this foot. Like, I don't know how to put weight, weight in it or something. Okay. To press off of that. I think it's subtle, but it's just like... 
Yeah, see, you, you press yourself into this foot. Your hips come really close. Yeah. And then you go I swing around. out, come in. Yeah, yeah, you're right. It's like in. In and And then up. I can push down on the foot. For people watching, this is not in cut at all. It's just kind of a round blob. If it was in cut, you could you actually could like your pull your hip in with your foot. Yeah. But it doesn't have that, so you have to get your hip in first, and yeah. then you can push on it. I can feel that my hips are hanging like that, and yours are... <laughs> I regretted that as soon as I You know did. what, it's crazy, that's my dance move, so... <laughs> I'm like this, and you're like this. More hip thrusting. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. Don't even think about catching the hold. Just try just to like try to push. swing and push. Swing and push. Swing and push. How'd that feel? Okay, yeah. I actually pushed off of it, which I haven't done in the previous attempts. That's good. Can you hang, just get into the start position one time? I wanna see where your, yeah. what your arms and legs are doing. So I'm able to reach it from the start, which is nice. You got your knee bent, your arms are straight. You kind of have to bend this one a little bit. Yeah. I think you want to be as far right as you can before it gets worse. Mm -hmm. Hanging straight, this knee's bent, and then... That was better. Okay. I think you like got into the correct position. I think it's just a timing thing. Okay, something to practice. You just pulled so just, many things. I just pulled so many things out of my bag. So out of your bag of tricks. This is a hangboard. Yeah. A hangboard yeah. by Attention Climbing. This is called the block. Okay. I use this for a lot of my training. Yeah. It doesn't matter what you use, but I like this 20 mil edge. And then this is a loading pin. Okay. I bought one because I love using it and most gyms don't have one. Yeah. We're gonna put weights on there. Okay. And then pick them up. <gasps> oh, let's do it. That's fun. <laughs> but the big plates look really badass. <laughs> How are you doing right now? <laughs> I'm feeling intimidated. You just had We're to full no squat no, with no, both no, your hands to move form. this thing. Good form. Don't good. show so it's, me it's up like, when I haven't even started yet. You want your arm to be kind of rolled over the front of your shoulder yep. and hanging like a rope. Okay. And then you just want to stand up with your legs. Oh, so you're not pulling with your Ground. arm. It's just no. loading the fingers yeah. and then, okay, I see. You need something to stand on. <laughs> yeah. Okay, loose arm, and then I'm just standing up. Nope. Close. Nope. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. And now it's 60. Okay. This thing weighs three. This is 63 pounds. Okay. Loose arm. My pinky wants to come off. Okay. Did you feel close before? No. No. Okay. <laughs> Oops. That's hard. Yeah, yeah. On the little bitty edge. This isn't like holding a handle and lifting something up. You're like, it's just, it's just the, the first, the tip of your finger. <laughs> yeah, sure, let's try. Let's go to failure. And this is a great way to train, because like I've seen people saying that like kind of the baseline you want to work toward is being able to do a one-handed 20 millimeter hang. That's like the standard kind of arbitrary measurement for like super elite climbers, maybe even pros. Right. I can't do that. Oh, you can't do that. On my best day, I'm oh. like barely one arm hang at 20 mil. Okay, that's, that's good like to know. Point. I can barely do a two-handed hang on a 20 millimeter. There's a lot of room between two okay. <laughs> okay, so we've added five pounds. Good. Ooh, the left is harder. No, the left doesn't want to do it. Mm -hmm. it's, isn't it interesting how like there's just a hard cut? Yeah, fun. Okay, what's your kind of, where do you sit there, do I Steven? See, I'll see if I can. Okay, and the middle finger. Oh my god, that's a meaty finger. Ring finger, youch. Wow, okay, so even in pockets, I'm way stronger like this way in pockets, but I hear that you're supposed to do it this way to prevent injury or I really, something? I really like both. You said okay. this way was stronger. Right? Yeah. I do both. Let's say right hand pocket. Yeah. I'm to the side and I want to go this way. Mm -hmm. It feels better to have the longer finger on the outside and I can just push with it. Yeah. Okay, so this is now just over 70 pounds. Okay, 70 pounds on a 20 millimeter edge. <laughs> Loose arm and just stand up. Ooh, it slipped. Spicy. It slipped. Got it off the ground. Got it off the ground. Yeah, sometimes the block tips forward a little bit. Oh, it was totally a block problem, absolutely. Was, yeah, where are we at? We're at 65, 70. Oh, now we're at 73. 73. Okay, I see. I see, I see, I see. But this isn't the same as what we tried before and I couldn't do, or it is? It is. It was the same. 
have I gotten stronger in the last five minutes? <laughs> Cue the big music. Yeah, that's probably just like being a little bit warmed up. Yeah, and kind and also getting a hang of the feet, the motion. So then, for training, what I like to do is go to eighty percent of whatever your max is. Okay. And then I do sets of five. Yeah, right. Yeah, that's my go-to workout. Another one and, you can do is fifty percent, mm -hmm. and pick it up and hold for ten seconds. Yeah. Put it down for ten seconds and hold for ten seconds. Yes, I was trying to hold it. This is fun. I want to keep doing it. So you asked uh, what my max is. Yeah. I'm trying to get to body weight. Yeah. So the most I've done is when it's 63. So this plus 100 pounds. <laughs> Del's face. I have a uh, fingerboard at home. Oh, there's a person. <laughs> I didn't I didn't realize there was a person lying. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming up, making the time, You're doing welcome. all this, this with me. Fun. Any okay. final thoughts for the viewer at home from like someone who does climbing coaching? There's no wrong place to be. If you, if you love climbing and you're enjoying it and you want to get better at it, it mm -hmm. doesn't matter where you are, it doesn't matter what you can do or not do. Mm -hmm. Everyone starts at zero. That's like the really cool thing about climbing. Yeah. If you're curious about climbing and you want to try it, just try it. You're probably not going to be good at it. It you doesn't matter. You don't have to one of these right away. No. Anyone can do it. Anyone can do it. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. As always, an extra thank you to my VIP patrons, my vitally important producers. You all make my world go round. Follow me on Instagram if you haven't already, because that's where the magic happens. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Can I tell you guys a quick thing? <laughs> I'm in the process of moving. This morning, I knew we were doing this shoot, and I thought to myself, Elena, don't forget your climbing shoes. So I put my bag of climbing shoes back into my car this morning, and I was like, good job, Elena. And then I had to go pick up a truck, left my car at the U-Haul with my shoes in it. Picked up Steven in the truck, and so the only shoes I, I had available to me were these ones. <laughs> <sighs> So this is what we're working with today. It's, it's not ideal. 